Hello, today as we are continuing the section of the toad or the frog, today we are going to look at the description of the buccal cavity, its structures and their significance during feeding. Remember the buccal cavity or the space found in the mouth it is wide and has very many structures on the inner surface and the roof, that is the ventral and the dorsal. The buccal cavity it is moist and it has a slippery fluid and why is it wide this enables the toad or the specimen to ingest a prey of valuable sizes that is can ingest large sized prey and also can digest small sized prey the tongue of the toad is attached anteriorly so that it can be flicked out quickly to a prey at a relatively far distance. Let me say, even if the prey is somehow distant from the, the specimen, it can send the tongue to capture it. Then also the tongue is forked. Let me say, it is forked meaning it is bilobed and it's also large, uh, long and muscular. Then it is flattened in shape. And don't forget that it's also elastic. Now, why is it elastic and why is it long? Uh, it's long nature and elastic nature. It is for catching small prey for food at relatively far distance. Then it is sticky for grasping the prey. Then also it is flattened to increase surface area for trapping the prey. The glottis, glottis it is a short long tidino slit in the floor of the phalanx where food uh, uh, where it radiates entry of air into the lungs then we have also other structures we can see that we can see the position of the eyeball some people will label them as eyeballs but we have the position of the eyeballs or the eyeballs they are oval they are pale colored and protrude in the roof then we have the internal nariz or what we call the nostril then uh, nostrils are two and there are two, I've already described them, and they are uh, response for gaseous exchange. Then we have maxillary teeth, and maxillary teeth, they are small pointed, and they are curved inward. Specimen does heterotrophic nutrition, and they are found around this region. Then we have also the vomen teeth. The vomen teeth are two patches, and they protrude out of the buccal cavity. All of them are conically shaped then they are formed between the eyeballs and the internal nariz. Now we may be required to draw the structures of the buccal cavity after pulling out the tongue. Now be careful, they can tell you to cut along the the left side so that it display the ventral roof of the buccal cavity, the lower jaw to the right, then it is a different drawing from when you've just opened it. Now I'm going to show you the two cases, when we cut and when we don't cut.